Sometimes I travel to um, places in order to realize my work. Uh, some of these places, um, um, some of these cultures that I encounter in these places are very, very different from the culture where I come from. For example, a few years ago I was in central China, um, north of Tibet, uh, inside an area that's mostly rural and uh, populated by a Tibetan minority, um, as well as Mongolian and uh, Muslim people. So there, um, the funny thing was that I don't speak any Chinese or Tibetan. Um, I can say a few words now after having been there, but uh, also that didn't help very much as sometimes the people would not understand what I was saying, even if I tried hard to, to find out the pronunciation. Um, the interesting thing is that I probably, um, I myself, I was able to take um, back home a lot of interesting Im impressions. Then I realized the work that was not even shown there. So in that case, uh, I would even say uh, the ideal aim of doing something in an area and then giving it back to the people who live there and who identify with this area where I was sent to has not been accomplished. Um, there is another case, uh, something that I'm actually working on right now, or will work in the future, here in Portugal actually. Uh, it's in a rural area along the river Paiva, which is southeast of uh, Porto, in the uh, Douro area. Um, I, sh I spent the 10 days before the festival there to record sounds, um, mostly of people working, doing their daily activities. Um, I will arrange these recordings and construct this composition and then I will construct also these floating elements with uh, waterproof speakers to be put into the river. They will float in the river and I mean they will be anchored but they within an area they will float and these sounds will be played back on these speakers so I'm basically giving back sound of living beings, communities there produced by these communities who are there in the first place because of the existence of the river and will give this back to the river itself. And the river, um, there's, there are two aspects to think about. The river is never the same river because the water is changing and the flow of the water is changing. Yet the river is of course the same river because you can identify this river. And then uh, the river will of course make sound and this sound which is the sound of the water. The sound of water is the sound of information in a very, very archaic sense. This sound will actually mask the sound that I will play back on these speakers. So possibly, uh, or even hopefully, sometimes drowning out the sounds that I'm giving back to the river. Thank <laughs> you.